Hi friends and welcome back to Rustic and Lace DIY. Today is my last video for March. I can't believe it, but I am so excited about the warm weather that's on its way. I hope you are too, but first of all, if you are new here, welcome. My name is Brenda and this is my sleepy Oliver. And if you're returning, we are so thankful for all of you. So with all that being said, let's get to crafting. Okay, here's DIY number one. So for this DIY, I'm going to use this little cutting board that I got on Valentine's Day at Hobby Lobby. It was on sale. And I painted the inside part of it with my Waverly chalk paint in the color plaster. And then I painted the rest of it with the moss color. Once everything was dry, I took my Mod Podge here and I am just going to go over that middle section that has been painted with my plaster. And then once I had it all brushed on, I just let it dry. And then I took this beautiful napkin I just recently got from decoupagenapkin.com. Um, I'm trimming it down so that it fits inside that middle section of the cutting board. Once I had it all cut down, I took my, uh, what is that, parchment paper and my heat press. And I'm just going to go over that napkin and that way it, the parchment paper protects the napkin, the heat press, the heat from it reactivates that Mod Podge so that it sticks. And then I went over it again with some more Mod Podge for that protective layer. And again, if you don't have a heat press, you can use an iron without the steam setting. And then I took some hot glue and put it right inside the crack there. And I took this be, uh, braided jute cord I get from um, Amazon. It is in my Amazon store. And I'm just going to uh, glue it into that little crevice that's in between well you see it there I'm taking my little spatula here and just kind of pressing it into um, the crevice so it really connects with that hot glue and then after that I'm just going to trim it off and kind of push it in and that's all um, for that part then I went and I painted a couple of tumbling tower blocks from a Dollar Tree with that same moss color. I'm using my Tight Bond Quick and Thick Multi-Purpose Glue. I'm brushing it along and then I'm like, wait, I need to connect these two. So I put a little bit there on the, the end and then I'm going to use a little bit of hot glue and connect the two together. And then <clears throat> I'll add a little bit of hot glue um, and so that I can connect this to my breadboard. And once I have that on there, I'm going to take this ribbon and our twine. I'm going to make a four loop finger bow and I'm just going around my fingers like you see. And I go around them four times. I'm going to cut a long tail and then I'm going to take that and wrap it around those, um, the middle of my finger there, come through my fingers and up around and through the hole or the loop that I made around the ones on my fingers. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> and then I just pull really tightly. After that, I'm going to trim off the legs and then I'm going to hot glue it to the top of my breadboard. And I thought about doing some distressing on this, but I just, I kept looking at it and I just, it was making my eyes happy. So I just left it the way it is. And look at how beautiful and high end that looks. I mean, honestly, it looks like something you could find at Hobby Lobby. I absolutely love that one. Okay, I always like to take this moment to thank my subscribers. You guys are amazing and I appreciate you so much. And if you're here and you're new and you like home decor on a budget, I invite you to hit that red subscribe button, become part of our YouTube family. And then if you guys would give me that thumbs up and comment, watch those ads, I would greatly appreciate it. And then um, if you'd like to follow me on social media, you can find those links in my description box below. So here's DIY number two. <clears throat> Excuse me. So for this DIY, I took three of those wood planks from Dollar Tree and I grabbed my jumbo craft sticks from Walmart and I'm going to attach those three signs together using those craft sticks with wood glue and hot glue. And I put wood glue down the middle of it um, and then hot glue on the sides because what I found before when I was just doing one on each side was that um, 
th when I paint the back, it the it would curl up on the edges. So I started just using the hot glue on the ends, and I don't get it curling up anymore. So <laughs> when I was done with that, I took some of my spackling and I covered up all the holes. I left the holes on both ends um, open for the hanger, and then I just kind of wiped off all the excess that was there, and I painted the front and the back with my Waverly chalk paint in the color moss. But I had a little mishap when I was painting and I had to take a picture and I've got to show you. I was went to go dip my paintbrush into my paint and I dipped it into my coffee. That's paint on the side of my cup there. I couldn't believe it, oh my goodness. So I had to go make me a new fresh thing of coffee and clean out my brush, oh my goodness. Anyways, um, I took this cake board from Dollar Tree. I removed the wrapping from it and then I'm gonna paint the back part of it with my plaster. After that, I'm going to take my Tight Bond multi-purpose glue. That's the quick and thick multi-purpose glue. <laughs> and I'm going to go all the way around the middle part of the back of this cake board. And this you can find, it's usually like in the party section or they have like that bride and groom section. That's usually where you'll find these. And I'm just going to add a little bit of hot glue around the edges and then around the middle and then I'm just going to put this. Now I had marked where to lay it so that I kind of knew so that it would be fairly even. So that's why I'm kind of moving it around there trying to get it right inside those little lines that I had made. After that I went, went over it again with some Mod Podge because I'm going to use a, um, a stencil that I created with my Cricut. And I didn't know if it would pull up like the cardboardy paper of it. So that's why I put on the Mod Podge. So I, um, like I said, I saw this on Cricut Design Space and I just loved it. And I thought I got to make a sign that says this. So I am just laying my uh, stencil vinyl. I got this from Amazon um, and it's by Frisco. I will make sure, I'll try to make sure that it is on my Amazon store in case you have a Cricut and you want to try it. Um, and I'm just removing my transfer tape there and then I just start going over the whole thing with my um, moss color here. And I'm just pouncing up and down with my stencil brush until I got it completely covered. Now. My first thought was I should wait and dry it before I pull it up. And I thought, oh no, I always pull it up while it's wet. Well, I should have waited because because it's so big, I did get a lot of little green splatters everywhere. So I did have to go and do some touch up with my um, paint, which then made, you could see the strokes because of the Mod Podge. So then I had to go over it again with Mod Podge. <laughs> but here, before I did all that, I removed all the, inner part of the vinyl there that um, that doesn't come off when you pull up the whole piece. So once I had all of that done, I took some of this ribbon, I got this from Hobby Lobby, and I am just going to glue it across the top. I'm actually going to glue it, um, I'm using my hot glue here, I'm going to glue it all the way around. I Instead of doing one long um, form, or I don't know, one long thing of ribbon. I just cut it to match and I went all the way down the sides and the front. And um, I, I was doing this because originally I was just going to do top and bottom. And then as I was gluing it, I thought, well, maybe I should go all the way around. So that's why I did it this way. But I didn't really like how the corners were. So I took some half beads and I put them on some painter's tape and took my plaster chalk paint. These half beads are in my Amazon store, but I am going to go over them with my um, plaster and then I am going to use my, once they're dry, I use my tight bond multi-purpose, quick and thick multi-purpose glue and hot glue and I'm just going to glue them over the corners there so that kind of high, um, kind of hides the seam there where they meet and I did that on all four corners and then I decided to use some of that same ribbon for the hanger and I'm just, um, I thread it through, I put some tape on the end so I could thread it through the hole and then tied a, a few knots on the back so that it didn't go through the hole and 
that's all there was for this. I love it. Hugs and kisses are great, but if you really love me, do the dishes. <laughs> and I love that saying. And I have to say, my husband is really good about helping load and unload the dishwasher, but he does leave his dirty dishes sitting on the counter a lot of times when he could put in the dishwasher. It drives me nuts. So I wanted to have this sign. <laughs> okay, here's DIY number three. So I'm going to take these. I got these a couple of years ago when they were on clearance. They were 59 cents, normally $5.99 at Hobby Lobby. And I painted them. I originally painted them with my plaster color, but you could still see through the um, the backing, the color in the, in the writing. So I went over them. I did a couple of coats with my moss color. And then I'm just taking my plaster here and doing a really thick dry brushing. And um, this really did help with being able to see everything. Um, now, I, <laughs> when I was picking the last DIY, when I was picking that saying out, there was two other ones that I really loved. So this is kind of a two for one or three for one <laughs> DIY. So it's pretty much the same thing, but I'm just using a different surface. So I just, again, I printed out those sayings on my stencil vinyl and I'm just going over it again with my moss chalk paint. Um, I love these sayings. This one was blessed are those who do the dishes. I should have picked the one that said does my dishes, but <laughs> uh, anyways, um, and then the other one says the dishes are looking at me dirty again. Now I'm just going to go around each one of these with that same ribbon. And that's all I did with these. But when I was doing this, I was like, darn it, you know what would have been really cute with the one that says that the dishes are looking at me dirty again is to create a um, something that you can put your um, dish soap in, you know, by your sink and then have that saying on there. That would have been super cute. And I thought about trying redoing it, but I didn't. So if anyone wants to take my idea, <laughs> there you go. That would be really cute to have that sitting by your sink with your dish soap and um, that saying on it. But uh, yeah, I love it. <laughs> I think it's funny and I definitely plan on putting these in my kitchen along with that last sign too. <laughs> okay, so it is a time for celebration of your recreations. And we have Jody. She recreated my He Is Risen that I did, I think it was last year. And it was beautiful, Jody. Thank you. And Gina, look at this. This is so pretty, Gina. Thank you so much for sharing that. And then we have Kathy who made this cute little neighborhood, I guess you could call it. I love it. So if you have a creation or recreation that you would like me to showcase, you can send pictures to my email address that's listed there, or you can send them to me through Instagram or Facebook Messenger. I am always tickled pink to see what you guys are making. Okay, here's DIY number five. So along that line of the last one, I thought, well, I, I found this. I forgot I even had these. I found it in a tote that I never really looked through. So I thought, you know, I could make a, um, a soap holder with this. This would be cute. But it wasn't really wide enough to put that seine uh, on there. So I just went ahead and washed it with some alcohol. And then I painted it with my plaster. I painted the inside and out. And then I'm going to go over it with some dishwasher safe Mod Podge. And I went over the inside and the outside. Just because if, you know, if you're using this for dish soap, you're going to have a lot of water coming around. And this plastic, so it's probably not going to matter too much. But I did want to kind of help protect that paint. And so I just went around the whole thing. I let it dry and then I added, um, I did this again. And I'm sorry if you don't have a Cricut. I know I'm, I usually try not to do so many with my Cricut, but you know, I was just struggling. I don't know. I don't know. I've been struggling a lot lately and <laughs> this was one of the days. So uh, you could always use stickers if you have stickers and want to recreate something like this if you don't have a Cricut. Or you could probably find, I know like this saying with the dirty dishes, I saw stencils. You could find them on Etsy or eBay, that kind of stuff. Um, so there, there are places you can find those things. So I 
am trying to remove this and it did pull up some of that Mod Podge. So I kind of had to fix it a little bit, add some more Mod Podge, but there it is. I just added some of my um, just soap and a sponge to show you kind of what it would look like. But I think my, I think my container is a little big for that, but I think it's really cute. Okay, DIY number four. You guys, these are all pretty easy, but they all are kind of the same thing and I apologize. Um, I'm going to use one of these signs from Dollar Tree, but I just, like I said, I was just struggling to get creative. <laughs> um, I'm going to use this Chalk Couture Transfer. Now, they don't have this one anymore, uh, but they do have one that's very similar that still has the um, herbs. So I'm going to fuzz it because this is the first time I've used it. If you're unfamiliar with Chalk Couture, it is a s adhesive um, stencil that has silk screen in the middle and we fuzz them the first time we use it that way um, it doesn't pull any paint or the paste up which really wasn't going to pull any paint up or anyways because I didn't paint this board <laughs> but when I laid it down I'm trying to make it to where the the letters weren't completely in those grooves because I knew it would be harder to read but once I had them all laid out I just took my squeegee and my pesto color chalk paste and I'm just going to go over the whole thing. If you um, have never tried Chalk Couture and you are interested in it, uh, I do have links to my uh, page. I am a designer. It's in my description box. Um, you can check it out for sure. I usually recommend if you want to give it a try to try the uh, Couture Club because that's just a, a good way to try it out. You get a, an exclusive 8 by 11 transfer that's only available to those that are a part of the club. And then you get three coordinating chalk paste with it. It's $21.99 a month, and you do have to sign up for at least three months before you can cancel. But I think that it's a great way to just kind of test it out and see if it's something that you really like. And if it is, you could even look into our members member perks. It's a new thing here as well. Okay, so once I washed my transfers, and I took some more of this ribbon and I'm just going to hot glue it to the bottom and I'm going to use it for um, a hanger as well. I'm just going to thread it through. I put some tape on the end of it, thread it through the holes, tie knots on the back. And then I once I had the length that I wanted and then I had a hanger and then I'll add a little bit more of that ribbon to the top of it as well. Now I had another project that I was uh, started working on um for this for this this video but I wasn't able to get it done in time in fact it's still sitting on the table in my living room because it's too big to do in my <laughs> in my craft room but um I'm going to I'm going to share that probably I might wait and share it on the next what would you make cuz it's all wood uh so that's kind of why I started with the kitchen theme I wasn't really planning on it but it just kind of went that way but I do think these are fun. Um, I took some of this. This is rosemary, two different rosemary picks from Walmart. I'm sorry, Dollar Tree. But the one rosemary pick had little flowers on them and I pulled them off. But they don't look like rosemary. They look more like thyme. So I don't know if they just put the wrong labels on there or what. But I took, I just took um, a couple picks from each pick that I have. And I'm just going to connect them together with some twine. I'll wrap it around because I want that extra to uh, hot glue it onto the sign. And then once I had it um, all wrapped, I'll tie a knot with that twine. And then I'm going to hot glue it to the bottom there. And then I'm going to make another, I'm going to make a double loop finger bow and hot glue that to the front of that. And that's all there will be for that. But anyways, I, um, again, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I know a lot of you don't have Cricut machines, but if you don't, you know, you can always find stencils. Uh, you can, a lot of times on Etsy, you can find people who make stencils and, um, you know, they might have those kind of, uh, sayings or any kind of saying that you might have. You can also look for free printables with sayings like that. If you have a, a printer at home and do that, or you can even create them with stickers if you want. And I know Hobby Lobby has a great assortment of different kinds of stickers too. So, okay, there it is. I really like how this came out. It's really simple, but yeah, it's perfect for a kitchen with all of that herbs on there. Yeah. <laughs> you have to let me know what you think about this one as well. And let me know which one is your favorite today. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. 
I will be back again on the first. I know on my last video, I said I was going to be back on the first, but I was thinking the first was Friday, but we still have a few more days. So I will be back for our first uh, of the month collaboration. I'm looking forward to it. I think I have some ideas already of what we're going to do. And so if you are new here again, don't forget to hit that red subscribe button before you go. Make sure you guys give me that thumbs up and comment. And with all that being said, I really hope you have a rest, a blessed rest of your week. And I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye.